a migrant boat has capsized in the English Channel, throwing dozens of people into the water. GB News understands there may have been some fatalities. Well, joining us now is Emily Thornbury, Labour MP for Islington South and Finsbury, and of course also Shadow Attorney General. Uh, a very good morning to you, Ms Thornbury. Uh, look, a very serious situation unfolding in the Channel as we speak. First of all, your reaction to that? Let's, uh, it's very early to say exactly what has happened. I really do hope that it hasn't been a capsize of a migrant boat, and I really do hope that there haven't been fatalities. Clearly, people won't survive very long in the water at all at this time of year. So it's a very worrying situation indeed. Uh, it comes less than 24 hours, of course, since the Prime Minister outlined his five-point plan to try and tackle what is quite clearly a very complex uh, and very serious uh, challenge facing the country at the moment. So Sir Keir Starmer calling it gimmickry. I want to know what Labour's serious plan is to stop situations like this unfolding in the Channel. Sure. I mean, let me just start with the gimmickry, because all you have to do is look at the various things which they have claimed that they're going to do, and it just doesn't make sense. You just say, well, that sounds good, but how's that going to work? And it doesn't. You know, so, for example, the Prime Minister has said that he's going to double the number of people that will be making decisions. That simply isn't enough anyway to be able to clear a backlog. He then says he's going to clear the backlog in a year, but he's only, he's only defining the backlog as cases running up to June this year not the cases since then. And he says he's going to clear it in a year, which will mean that by the end of next year, he'll have 18 months' worth of backlog, even if what he's saying is right, which it isn't. So how so, would you, you know, clear it then? I'm, I'm not the wise about what headlines you would on do. This. It's very easy to say yeah, yeah. I don't think they're going to be able to double the so, numbers. So, so the truth is, is that the asylum and immigration system in the UK has broken and the Conservatives have broken it over the last two years, the last 12 years. So what would you do? There, there has always been delays and it, so we would be making sure that we have people properly trained. We would never have allowed the situation to arise whereby cases were taking as long as they have. We would have made sure that there were proper decisions being made. We would have made sure that we kept an eye on just how bad the backlog was being. We would, we would make sure that we were making decisions decisions in a timely way so that the British public weren't having to pay for people to stay in hotels for over a year. And what's more, the people who are here claim, claiming asylum, they're having to stand waiting, holding their breath, waiting for their lives to start because no decision has been made because it has simply taken too long. Oh, and then respect, on top of that, just, you have to make sure the problems that you're again. talking if properly to the... tomorrow, what No, no, you I'm not. I'm, what I'm sure saying is that... Properly trained, well, that's certainly what the Prime Minister has said in outlining that he wants to double the numbers. What I'm saying is, is that, the, is that the system has been broken over a long period of time and it has been allowed to fall to pieces and, and there has not been a serious grip being taken of the situation. Okay. So it gets worse and worse and worse. And, and you then say to me, oh, but if you were in power tomorrow, what would your solution be? My solution would be that we would never have allowed the situation to arise in the first place, as indeed can be proved by the fact that it was nothing like as bad as this when we were in government. Okay. But over the but last 12 years... Years, the Tories have slowly and systematically the broken election. the system. OK, look, there was a Savanta poll out yesterday. It was very favourable to your party. It saw Labour winning a 314-seat yes. majority if a general election was held today. So what would Labour do about this problem today? I'm still none the wiser. OK. No, no, all right. So what we would do is we would, first of all, we would be, we would be de tackling the problem upstream, which would be we would be looking at um, how we can have a proper agreement with the French when it comes to a return of, of people. We would make sure that we were policing the border properly. We would also be looking upstream in terms of dealing with the criminal gangs. We would be making a real effort in relation to that. You have to remember that whilst the Conservatives are now talking to the French, that it wasn't very long ago that Priti Patel was banned from meetings with the, with the French. French government because they had been so insulted by her behaviour. Okay. It wasn't that long ago, only the last Prime Minister, which was only like last month, when she said that, that uh, she couldn't be sure whether the President of, the, of France was a friend or foe. That isn't really the way that you can kind of get a deal with the French. So a new government, a fresh start, would certainly help with improving relationships with the French and we would be able to work with them better when it comes to that. So that's number one. Okay. And then at the other end, we would be making sure that the decisions were made in a timely way and not in the way in which the government has allowed this to fall into... I mean, the whole thing has, has been... Has, has fallen to pieces
pieces under this government, we would have a fresh start and we would make sure that we have people trained up. We would make sure that we have people who are there in order to make proper decisions and get on with it okay, rather than the current.